If you recently had a renewal on your car insurance, you may notice that your renewal has gone up significantly. And let's dive in and explain the main reasons you're seeing this change, especially if you haven't had any changes. If your insurance scores are the same, your credit's the same, same location, same vehicle, same drivers, all of that, no tickets, no new accidents. Let's go through the three main processes that you need to look at to find out what is the difference between the last policy to the rate increase that you've gotten to this policy. The first part is the location. A lot of insurance companies have reworked the territories and a lot of the states have required insurance companies to rework the territories. And what that used to be was everything was based on a zip code. So we could pin that zip code 49508 or 49512 was this type of risk or that type of risk or 480, whatever the, the zip code is. We could tell you that zip code had X amount of claims, X amount of accidents, so on and so forth. What they've done is the insurance companies are now required to lump them into one larger territory. So they can't just say the 49546 zip code has to be a high risk because everybody has claims in there. What they've done is because it's unaffordable for people that are in those zip codes is they've broken them into multiple zip codes. So now that territory is good and bad drivers lumped into one piece. The benefit is that most people that were pinned into zip codes that were a higher risk have raised that risk away so that it's not as expensive. It's benefited the whole. Unfortunately for a lot of people, a lot of customers that I know included have been lumped into some of the zip codes that were less than preferable. And in that case, that will cause the rate increase to be pretty significant. That's one of the reasons if you are moving, you're looking either for home or auto insurance, that you need to decide if that's a good area. You can have your local agent run a quote for the zip code or the location that you're thinking of going to make sure that it's a good fit cost-wise for your insurance. The second part is rating factors, and there's a ton of them. So we talk about profiles on this channel and who's a fit for which company. Now, yes, sometimes the companies change, but more so the person has changed. You're a year older, and sometimes being 75 versus being 74 makes a difference. Sometimes being 25 versus 24 makes a difference. When that year changes, you can start going down in cost or up in cost. It's all based on the numbers and the algorithmic analyzation that they've done to say, here's the risk that we have. How many drivers are there? Have they had any claims? Have they had any tickets? All of these pieces put into one thing that gives you what's called an insurance score. And credit plays a factor as well to a point, legally, technically, in most states, Michigan specifically, they don't necessarily count credit, but there's a version of it, right? So there's a piece that they put into there that all lumps into this profile for you, and that likely has changed. That's where having an independent agent comes into play. If you are in some of the states that we insure, we'd be happy to check out a quote for you. Feel free to fill out the quote below and we'll see what we have option-wise for which companies would be a better fit for you. Now, the third piece, there's actually technically four, there's probably 50, but <laughs> there's four main ones. The third piece is the profile fit of the company. Like I just mentioned, if you're not a fit for the right company, then you're no longer gonna get the rate that you wanted to keep. So for example, my current company has remapped their whole product and they changed the way that their product line is being rated. And so they didn't have an increase, but they remapped all the costs of the products. So now comprehensive and collision is way more expensive than it wasn't before. If I'm the type of person that has had an accident or maybe a comprehensive claim, I'm gonna have a larger increase because that model has changed to where the cost of those claims are way higher. In their eyes, I'm not as good of a fit as I was before. That's where my rate's gonna go up. That's also one of the reasons that you have those independent agents because they work with that company and five or six other companies that they say, okay, we get that. We are sad to see that happen, but we're gonna move our client to this company. So company A is no longer a fit. We can pivot you over to company B that isn't so specific on that type of an incident. So check with your insurance agent to make sure that if your rate did go up, that it wasn't just a general increase. Now, the common term, the agents that honestly, I'll put you out there that don't know what you're doing is they're just saying inflation. Inflation did it, inflation did it it but 30 percent is a big amount of inflation you're seeing some of these companies that are higher than 30 percent and that's not always the case actually almost never the case one of the things that we do with all of our customers is every time your policy renews we go into the policy and see what changed if it went up or down we want to know why so that way we can either do more things to keep it going down or look at things that we can avoid to keep it from going up 
yes, inflation has played a large factor with the vehicles and the cost of materials and all of those pieces, but it's not usually the main reason for rate increases. A lot of times there's even state fees. For Michigan specifically, we have raised our state fee that we have to pay, and so there's a recoupment fee added. And not knowing what that is is not gonna help you get the right company, because you don't wanna just leave one company to go to another one to find out they're doing the exact same thing. So having the right agent plays a huge factor. And the fourth is kind of inflation, it's business costs. It's the cost to do business with you and with the world. Because Michigan and Tennessee, Ohio and Virginia, and there's a Texas and there's a lot of states that we do, but we'll use Michigan as our example. They have something called personal injury protection, kind of a no fault piece. So it doesn't matter if I'm at fault, you're at fault. I go get my insurance taken care of, you go get yours. What happens is the companies, the insurance companies are on the hook they actually have to pay a percentage, the first several hundred thousand dollars of that claim before you get the state to pay for the rest. 90 plus percent of the time, your insurance company is actually the one paying for that. Even though you're technically paying it to the state, they're still covering the bill. So when they price these models, they've gotta make sure that it makes financial sense for them to succeed and move forward along with the regulations that they're given. Now there are a lot of factors in play here and your next step is really to understand the coverages that you should carry, specifically in Michigan or in other states. I'll link our car insurance 101 there if you wanna go a little bit more in depth. If you're just kind of shopping around and trying to see what options you have available, here's another video that would be helpful as well. I'm Mark with Valor Insurance. We'll see you soon.